Okay, let's continue with the plumbing layout, okay? So I got four water closets that I need to connect into this uh, one and one half inch pipe. I think I'm gonna change this, I'm gonna reduce this one and one half inch down to a one inch. Okay, let's bring it down a little bit more that way, okay? So what I'm gonna use is a tool up here called connect into. So, so I've, so I've select, once you select your um, plumbing fixture, you get the option in, in your ribbon here to connect into. So I've selected that and it says pick a pipe to connect into. So I'll pick this pipe. Okay, so it looks like it's okay. And let's go look at the section view because I also need to, I wonder what would happen if I chose, and that's not gonna work. <laughs> um, but let's, let's check something. I got cold water pipe, okay, cold water pipe, cold water, okay, that's good. Um, what would happen here? And can I connect into, pick a pipe to connect into? This one, yeah, that's not gonna work. Select, connect into, let's say, this horizontal pipe. Nope, that's not gonna work either. Yeah, I'm not surprised. So I think I'm gonna have to do the rest of this manual labor. Because I know this is gonna be a T here. Let's go here, here, and here. And let's come out. Let's use here. So we need to always, you always need to check up here at your properties for the, to get the right parameter. And I need my copper, domestic cold water, and connect into like that. And this, that should be okay. I just reset it. I don't know why Revit does that, but it does. And again, let's do the same thing. Select our pipe. Um, connect into here. Okay, let's go back. Let's do this. Let's come down. Do the same thing here. And let's make sure that we have everything is all set. Cold water. Cold water, cold water. I think this one's gonna be sanitary. So I need to change this again. And we can connect here. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to, I can make this an elbow. Let's turn that around. Let's try something. I need to look at this. Another view angle. So let's just get a better, let's get a reference. Let's do our plumbing fixture. Let's include the plumbing fixture in the section. Okay, so uh, how is that going to work? Let's, we need to go to a 3D view. Let's look at this. 3D view. And where are we? That's what I need to do. Is it what floor is that? Yeah, see we're here. But I need to... I need an elbow in here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, here we go. That's how it, here, yeah, okay. So that worked out okay. So yeah, um, so that's how you can use the um, uh, connect into um, tool. Let's go over and look at our three laboratories. 
Uh, okay. So the cold water is always on the right hand side and I can select my plumbing fixture. So I want to connect into select cold water here. Okay. I'll say okay. And select pipe to connect into. I'll say this guy. Okay, something happened. That doesn't look right. Oh, what's happened? Mm, that's not good. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. So again, this is this is what happens when you get into the office, and things don't go the way you want them to go. <laughs> so that's happening to me right now. So, so how do we figure figure that out? I know, an, I know another way to do this, uh, but I'm not going to do that this time. Let's rotate my, my section view. I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees. Let's come down and look at this section. Let's get a reference. Always get a reference. So the cold water, here, the cold water is going to come. It's here. And I can go like that, right? That looks like a sanitary fitting. That doesn't look right at all. What's going on? No, we don't want that. We want to change that to a vent T. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go here change we want to use a t sanitary t reducing sanitary t reducing vent i think that's the one i want t reducing vent yeah that's the one i want okay so we can do it like that um let's see but I want to utilize Revit's tool of connecting. Let's make sure that this is the pipe type. See, okay, we have to change this again. Mm, okay. Um, let's erase this. Let's see, can I, let's do this. And go to our section, our overall 3D view, and look at this guy. Let's change it. Cold water here. Cold water. Okay. And how are we doing on the fitting? Okay. The elbow. Okay. So yeah, just need to keep an eye on. Let's look at my fittings. I want to make sure that. My preferences are okay. Um, elbows okay. T reducing vent no tick. That should be okay. T reducing vent. Okay, looks okay. Looks okay. Looks okay. Looks okay. I like it. I like it. Why would it put that? Let's let's try this again. I'm gonna go to my cold water, draw my pipe, and <laughs> I need to change copper. Maybe that's why it did that. I think the reason it, it put that sanitary in is because my pipe type was a sanitary, but if I change it to a copper cold water and domestic water, it will keep that T, okay? So that's what happened. T reduce vent. Okay, uh, what are these? What size is this? That's too big. That is too big. One and one half inch. That's still too big. Okay, and the reason I say it's too big is because each one of these um, water closets, each one of them has a fixture unit 
Where's my fixture unit? Fixture unit of 1.5. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four point five fixture units. So I would say this line is a three quarter inch line. Okay. So I'm going to change, go back to my overall and change this line. That's why the to have the, the overall 3D view comes in handy. Uh, I think all of this is going to be three quarter inch. Three quarter inch, three quarter inch. That's just, let's see what happens here. Three quarter inch. They had all changed. Looks good. Let's go back. Consistent colors and go back. Okay. So, and I need to change that line to a three quarter, maybe a one inch because I'm feeding up to these on the second level. There's three wa three laboratories. So I have nine fixture units, mm, but I'll keep it at one inch. I do need to reduce it, but this, these, these two segments of pipe and this elbow is gonna be a three quarter inch. So I'll change that to a three quarter inch. And this fitting is three quarter inch. Well, it's one and then three quarter inch on the run. Okay, so that looks good. Um, now we can go back to the first level and what I want to do is come here, come out, change my pipe type again and I'm going to go here and use my fillet tool three quarter inch to one inch and somewhere it's going to reduce which is when we reduce it it's higher so it reduces somewhere in here but the idea is just to get these guys connected so that I'm counting up my my um, fixture units which will be give me a 4.5 here right yeah fixture units 4.5 15 GPM okay so Let's go back and so that I need to put a note here that says three quarter inch up and down, right? Three quarter inch up. And for this, I'm gonna use my notes. Um, uh, okay. My notes is annotation symbols. Annotation symbols. And I don't see any um, annotation symbols for it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to have another video for that. So, um, I'm going to leave it at that, and next time I'll show, I'll have to show this um, uh, note. I'll show the note. It's call-out notes. Mm. I'm thinking whether I should, um, I think that's enough. I think that's enough for today. All right, okay, 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 okay. So we have those. All of this is all connected up. Um, okay, that doesn't look right. Oh yeah, there's a there's a T. What's going on here? Let's go back and see. Well, okay, because I have the 3D open view. What is that doing? Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so that's the urinal. Okay, so it should be the same as this. Okay, 
All right. Okay, guys. Well, I hope that helped, and I will talk to you guys later.